welcome to this week's episode of Amanda Makes a Mess. As you can see, we are back on the dining room table. And this week's video is going to be another Draw Your Journal video. <laughs> I don't usually do these two weeks in a row, but there were some pages in this one that I really wanted to get to because I had good ideas for all of them. And, yeah. Um, it's going to be hard for me to do anything but art prompt books until after Christmas. Because these, I can just do the drawings and then flip through and show you what I've done. I I don't have the time or the space until after Christmas to actually uh, film me creating anything. Which uh, was kind of a pain. But uh, I will do the best I can with what I have to work with for now. So let's get started and see what I've made this week. If I can find the right page. Just a minute. That's not it. This first page is actually probably my favorite page in this video. I know it says draw your journal, but there's very little drawing involved in this one. This is draw your day. Draw something noteworthy about your day. So, uh, the day I did this, which actually was just yesterday, because I've, I've been kind of pressed for time this week. So this week, this one, I did some shopping. I almost finished my Christmas shopping. I've only got two things left to get, which I'm surprised this early because I'm usually that person who goes Christmas shopping on Christmas Eve. But <laughs> um, I did very little drawing with this one. I have a lot, like a lot, a lot of scrapbook paper, and I don't scrapbook, so kind of just lays around, and I buy it because it's pretty, and it keeps piling up. And I decided it was finally time to find something to do with some of that. So, um, instead of drawing this, I made two shopping bags and a credit card out of scrapbook paper. And I glued them in. Then I had some ribbon um, left over from another craft project. This is actually the same piece of ribbon. I've just cut it into uh, two pieces down the middle this piece and this piece are the same piece um, and I use that for handles the stores here are too expensive Emporium maxed out Mart and this is not a credit card this is a debt card um, issued to I am broke which yes after I went shopping I am broke um, <laughs> <laughs> this is just a random string of numbers. It's not my debit card number or my credit card number or a gift card number. I don't know. It's not anything. It's not my phone number either, so don't call it. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's that's that. And um, that's it for this page. Once I glued everything in, I added some shading so it looked like it was actually sitting there instead of floating in space. Um... One thing I wish I had done different with this page, I wish I had made these bags so that they opened and you could put like little things in them. I could have drawn some of the things that I bought and put them in uh, the bags, but this is still probably my favorite page out of the three I've done this week because I really like this one. Although I do think it looks a little plain, like there's too much blank space around it. But I'm okay with it, other than that. Uh, the second page. <laughs> this seemed very appropriate because, um, yeah, we'll look at that in a minute. This is the draw your game page. Draw a game that is real or made up. And I did two games, one on each page, and they're both real. This is Stardew Valley. Um, I'm kind of obsessed with that. I have it on every single device I own that I can play games on. <laughs> and I have a different game on every one of them. But this is my character from the game that I have on my iPad. Because it's probably the one I've gotten the farthest on. Uh, but I tried to make her... She looks kind of like an alien. She's not supposed to. She's supposed to look really tired because 
Um, I'm trying to get to the bottom of the mine at the moment. And so she sort of just keeps passing out a lot because she's so tired. Uh, this is not her actual outfit. She does have the pigtails, the black pigtails. And the shirt with a skull on it. But I gave her, instead of purple skirt, which is what she wears, I gave her purple leggings because I just couldn't figure out how to make it into a skirt. I was having a very off day when I was drawing these. Um, I did finish this one yesterday as well. And here... You can see I tried to do the Stardew Valley logo. Um, I actually forgot to put the nails on the boards. I meant to do that with a Posca pin at the end, but that's alright. I'll go back and do that later. And this one is Harvest Moon. I've only been playing this one for about a week because I got it at a Black Friday sale. Or a pre-Black Friday sale. I got it a few days before Black Friday. Uh, but I am, like, obsessed with it, even though it's basically the same game as Stardew Valley, just with different graphics, and, like, there's, there's maybe a few other little things that are different. Like, you don't have to repair the community center in this one, you have to fix the lighthouse. I'm playing Light of Hope, because it was really cheap, and I wanted... To see if I liked Harvest Moon before I got any of the other ones. I think there's a newer one out than Light of Hope, but I'm not sure. Uh, if you would like to let me know about that, I would be very happy. Uh, so yeah. This is my character from Harvest Moon. I don't think the characters are customizable. I think you just, everybody gets the same character. You just, you can pick your gender, but I think that's it. But the characters in Stardew Valley are customizable. Um, so yeah, that's that page. I actually am really happy with both these drawings, even though this girl looks like a sad alien. And this one looks way too happy, and I don't know what's going on with this leg. She's supposed to be all happy and energetic, because uh, when you walk in the game, you don't actually walk. You, your character just runs everywhere. And, yeah. But this leg, I don't know what I was thinking when I drew that. That's entirely the wrong angle. <laughs> so, I don't know what's going on with that. But, um, anyway. On to the third page. This was also the last page for this week. This page is... Draw your instrument. Draw your favorite musical instrument. Now, I like music. I like listening to it. I do not play it. I do not, well, I, I do sing, but just because I can't sing doesn't mean I won't sing, okay? <laughs> it means I probably shouldn't sing. Um, but anyway, I don't have any particular favorite actual real musical instrument because I like to listen to music. I don't actually care about how it's played. I never learned to play anything. I do own a guitar, but my obsession with learning to play it lasted for about five minutes, and then I was done. <laughs> so, yeah. This, I had to think long and hard about, and figure out how I could relate musical instrument to me, um, because this is Draw Your Journal. It's, it's basically, the prompts have to relate to you what you... You have to relate the prompts to something in your life, or at least that's the way I'm doing it. So this is a snarf blat. <laughs> if you see my videos or you know me in real life, you know I'm like mildly obsessed with anything Disney. And um, there's, if you don't know by now, I'm sure everybody knows by now because it's such an old movie. In The Little Mermaid, she finds a pipe in the sunken ship. And um, she takes it to a seagull, and he tells her it's a snarf flat. It's a musical instrument. And then later on in the movie, uh, she sees somebody smoking a pipe, and she wants to try it, but she still thinks it's a musical instrument, so uh, she puts it in her mouth, and she blows on it, and the soot comes out, and he gets it all over his face. That's really funny. Uh, that's, like, one of my favorite scenes. So here's a snarf flat. Um... I did have some problems with this page. I colored the background with Posca pen, and the page curled and it bled through. Well, it didn't really bleed through, but like you can kind of see this dark blue 
on the back of this page, so I'll have to double layer those. Um, then the pipe and all the musical instrument, musical instruments, music notes, and the bubbles, I uh, drew those on marker paper, also with Posca pen, and I cut those out and glue sticked them in, but that's it. Oh, I wrote this with a Posca pen. That's my actual handwriting. I hope you can read that. But, um, that's it. That's it for this week's video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video with your friends, do it on your social media. Any way you interact with it will help me. I will link my Instagram in the description below if you're interested in following me on there. Uh, I have all of the artwork that I create in my videos, plus just some random pages from my sketchbook uploaded there, so you might want to check that out. And I will see you next week. I upload every Saturday at noon, so bye for now.